Should public officials be were honest? Panlo has no opinion. Malakanine cannot say with certainty that honesty is a must for elected government officials. Presidential spokesman Salvador Panlo engaged in a bizarre back and forth with palace reporters on Thursday, March 7, as he hesitated to say unequivocally that government officials must be honest. Reporters had asked him for Malakan Eng's stance on the remarks of presidential daughter and Davao City Mayor Sara Duderick that honesty should not be an issue thrown at her senatorial candidates. Panglo was asked if he, as presidential spokesman, thinks honesty should be an election issue. At first, he tried to evade the question, claiming any answer he gives would be seen as favoring a candidate. First, I'm not a candidate. Second, it's prohibited for me to make a statement that could be construed or misconstrued as favoring or campaigning against. I'd rather not respond to that question, he said. Exercise of judgment. After being pressed for a more definite palace position, he said, I have no opinion on that simply because I'm not a candidate. As a voter, I will have to exercise my judgment, whether honesty will be a part of my choice. He then went on to say that anyway, it's difficult to tell if a candidate or official is honest. Thus. He found it reasonable for the Sara to say honesty should not be an issue. How would you know if I'm honest because you don't have experience of dealing with me? You need to have personal experience that's why Mayor Sara can say, let's not talk about honesty because how would you know? Said Banlo. But he soon contradicted himself by saying there are some dishonest politicians who get elected which supposedly proves that some voters don't think honesty is an important consideration when choosing who to vote for. Admitting that some dishonest individuals get elected logically means honesty and dishonesty can be proven. He even described lying about one's educational attainment as fraud precisely the issue currently facing Hukbong and Paglabago senatorial candidate Jaime Marcos. Marcos has been accused of lying about getting a degree from University of the Philippines College of Law and even graduating cum laude, and earning a degree from Princeton University. Excusable lies Benlo then said there are times when dishonesty is excusable for a public official. Tung nag sai zai nungling kaling tung kalsa girlfriend mo or tung kalsam gaka awe mo, bastis it trube homo matino ka, walo kang gagaling masama in violation of the law and regulations, he said. If you are lying about your girlfriend or about your enemy, but in your work you are decent and you don't violate the law and regulations. However, Sara had lashed out precisely at her political enemy, Otso Diarzo candidate Magdalo Rep. Gary A. Ligiano, for supposedly lying through his teeth about her senatorial bet bongo. Does President Duterte think honesty is an important virtue for a government official? Panlo appeared not confident enough to give an accurate response to the question. I will have to ask him that. Not that I'm not sure, I have to ask him so it's more accurate, he said. But he emphasized that Duterte has called for credible, honest elections. <laughs>